You don't need a new PC, seriously. A lot of people nowadays think that they need the latest and greatest hardware just to do anything on their PC. But my job today is to prove it to you that your old computer can still be used here in 2024. So right here we have the absolute worst case scenario of a PC. This is an HP computer that you've seen in many, many of our videos, obviously. And it is from 2008 and it is running an Intel Core 2 Duo, just two cores. You know, nowadays computers have like eight cores and even 16 cores, but this one has just two. And I will actually turn on the uh, task manager so you can see what's happening here. We also are running three gigabytes of RAM. So again, not a lot of RAM, but it does have an SSD installed. Uh, it did install an SSD, which completely made this computer night and day better compared to when it was running a hard drive. So what do most people do on their PCs? They mostly use and watch things like YouTube. So let's go on YouTube and see how that runs. Um, so here we are on YouTube. It does take a second to load, so you do need to keep that in mind, but let's just search for our channel, Surfshark Academy. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And here it is, running YouTube. Totally fine, right? And we are running at 720p, which again, it, this is actually totally okay because the screen is actually not uh, high quality. But what I'm trying to say is that if we can watch YouTube on this old computer, a lot of people watch YouTube. We can also browse social media, things like Reddit. Let's jump on Reddit right here. So here we are browsing some memes on Twitter, tweeting something, okay. totally cool. And we're also on Instagram. By the way, we just made an Instagram page. You can go follow us. We just mostly repost content, so it's nothing too amazing there. But if you want to get some updates, we might post something there as, as well. But here we are, everything is running totally fine on this whole old computer. But obviously, you don't care about this, right? Because maybe you browse social media on your phone and the things that you do on your PC is probably gaming. So how can an old computer uh, handle games? Now, one thing we need to keep in mind is that you won't be able to run the latest and greatest games, right? You won't be able to run things like God of War or Helldivers 2, right? That's the big game that's been going on right now. But you can still play a lot of the esports titles that are usually easy to run, like your CS2 and your Valorants and things like that. Those games are specifically made to be easy to run because then more people can access them, right? Uh, another thing we can play later on is Minecraft, obviously, and we can also try some of the older titles. Let's play some Quake right now. Quake is an awesome game, and uh, just uh, for background, I'm just gonna turn it on here. Let's go single player. So this game will run just fine. We're getting uh, around 60 to 70 FPS, perfectly playable. Um, and yeah, I, I get it. A lot of kids nowadays, they play like, like their Fortnites and things like that. And even Fortnite has actually a low performance mode that you can use uh, in order to play it. So things like this classic Quake 3 plays just fine and it's such a fun game. So I totally recommend you guys go ahead and play this game because it's totally awesome. You can even, there's even a mod where you can make it a split screen and you can play it with your friends. I, th that is so much fun, honestly. I know like playing FPS with a controller is kind of weird, but um, no, it's totally cool. And uh, as you can see, again, it runs totally cool. And I'm getting my ass kicked because these bots don't mess around. Yeah, woo. Okay, let's move on to the next game. The next game I want to showcase is Age of Empires 2. Uh, this game is extremely popular, even today, because of this esports scene that it has. And you can, again, this is more of a showcase that you can revisit old classics. So we just played Quake, now we're playing Age of Empires 2. Uh, let's see if it runs. It may not run. I hope it runs. <laughs> Okay, so this is this this version of the game is actually not the remake or def, high def version that they made. I think in 2020 or 2021. This is the HD edition that they ported back in 2013, I believe. And uh, you can tell from my playtime, I played this game a, while, a lot because I have like 200 plus hours on this game. Um, so let's see if it runs. And man, look at this menu. This menu. This music. Such a great game. Uh, so I don't know if I have any like saved games. It probably doesn't have anything, but I'll just play a random game with some AI. And uh, again, it's probably gonna run perfectly fine because this game is from 20 years ago, 30 years ago. I don't know, but it's such a great game. So you can use an old computer and here it is. Yeah, it runs. 
It's not perfect, right? Building a base here, building some... Uh... Oh, I, I need to chop some wood. Okay. And there you go. You can play this game. I need to scout my enemies. Oh, I have a friendly. If you press shift, you can make your scout go exactly where you need to go. Ah, oh, it's music. And it runs. It's not perfect. Maybe we can adjust some settings, okay? Uh, let's not render water. Who needs water anyway? It's just... And also I'm gonna, going to turn on vertical sync. Oh, this... Oh, the game just turned up. Okay, this can happen, okay? The game can completely close because your computer is from 15 years ago or something like that. Next game, Half-Life. Uh, this is a classic game. This was actually given out for free. What Valve was celebrating, I think it's 20th anniversary. So they were giving this game out just completely for free, which you can just play. And I did actually get it. Okay, so the game actually works. It is running in software mode because for some reason this uh, this graphics card doesn't work with OpenGL that well. But uh, here we are in Half-Life. Um, I have my grenades. I killed some uh, crabs, head crabs I think they're called. And uh, I have my crowbar, the iconic crowbar. I don't even know where to go. Sometimes like as a kid, I was so confused in this game because I didn't know where to go. Okay, we have a lift here. Nice, let's get out of here. Oof, oh, I've already been here. But the important thing is it runs, it's playable, and uh, I just got caught up by this monster who's gonna eat me now. Yep, yeah, oh my God. All right, let's get out of this game. Next, let's try running Minecraft. But before we run Minecraft, guys, if you want to support our channel and you're looking for a really nice VPN, make sure to check out the first link in the description of this video where I'll leave a link to a really nice deal for Surfshark VPN where you can get plus two months for free. And uh, this is a really nice deal that you need to check out. Uh, and it also will support the channel if you use that code. So make sure to do that. But uh, Minecraft is finally updating and loading. So let's get back into the video. Look at this. Minecraft has become some blo so bloated. You have three, four editions. I get it. These Minecraft Dungeons and Legends are, are different games. Uh, but, uh, and oh my, it's downloading even more stuff. It's like it was downloading stuff prior to that and now it's downloading even more stuff. So, okay, well, Minecraft is gonna have to wait a bit. So before you even consider upgrading your computer, you need to ask yourself a few questions. Number one is, can you still do the things that you need to do on your computer? Can you play the latest game that you want to play? The answer is yes, don't upgrade. The answer is no, yeah, you need to consider upgrading then at that point. Uh, for games, I would say that, you know, it's entertainment at the end of the day. So don't think that you need to absolutely buy the latest and greatest because this game just came out. It's at the end of the day, again, this is entertainment. So it's not exactly a life or death situation kind of thing. Uh, for things like work, at work, we're obviously here on our channel, we do edit a lot of videos and Right now, I am working with a MacBook Air. Don't ask me why. Uh, but the MacBook Air, all things considered, it can do 4K editing, but it's a struggle. Like, it's an absolute struggle for me. So I am looking to upgrade my Mac to a, maybe a different Mac, maybe a Windows PC, who knows? Uh, so in that case, yes, upgrading for me is an option. But for you, it may not be. Now, there's also things you can do to make your PC run better. So obviously we mentioned the thing that I upgraded the SSD in this computer, which if you don't have an SSD in 2024, then what are you doing? You need to get an SSD. Uh, another thing is that this doesn't apply to laptops specifically, but you can upgrade on a desktop PC your, your uh, CPU or your GPU. And there's also RAM. Now, listen, we have to talk about RAM upgrades because a lot of people get things wrong. So if I go on my computer, go to the task manager, you'll see RAM usage and you'll very clearly see that my memory is being used at 84%. And that's because I only have three gigs of RAM. Now, the best way to visualize RAM is like, it's like having a desk. The more RAM you have, the bigger the desk you have. That means you can have more browser tabs, right? You can have 20 browser tabs for all I care, right? Obviously, uh, internet in general has gotten a bit harder to run because, you know, developers are constantly improving like their websites and things like that. So there's more animations in the website. So it takes more RAM. That's, it's partially, a lot of people say that Chrome is the reason why 
you know, the RAM is being taken up, but it's actually more to do with a lot of the websites using a lot of new like plugins and things like that. But let me get back on track. RAM is only, as an upgrade, it's only gonna get that far. RAM will be useful if you're editing. It will be useful if you're running into memory limits on your, on your browsing. When it comes to gaming, honestly, a lot of games don't use that much RAM, if at all. There are specific games like Microsoft Flight Simulator where they're literally trying to simulate the entire world, right? Where the RAM is being used. But for the most part, uh, if you're say on eight gigs of RAM, yeah, you can put an extra stick, make it 16, that will be totally fine or even more, but it's not gonna be a big upgrade because a lot of people just assume that it's all about RAM. There's even a meme going on, right? Where you can download RAM, please. Please don't download RAM, just don't do it. Another thing that you can do is just to clean out your PC. No, seriously, I'm, I'm being 100% serious on this. A lot of computers, the way that they run is that, I say a lot of computers, all computers, they are based on chips, right? Now, CPUs and GPUs, they get hot. And when they get hot, they actually thermal throttle, which means that they actually are downclocking themselves, basically to make them run faster, uh, or not fry themselves actually, and so if you clean out your PC, there's probably a ton of dust in there, especially if it's an older computer. By doing that, you can reduce noise, you can improve performance. And my friend actually experienced this because he had an old computer, he never cleaned it out. Like when, when the time when he got it, it was never cleaned out. So he actually cleaned it out, it, it became like a new PC. Uh, so please do that as well. And the last thing is your OS. Now here on this PC, we are actually running Windows 10. And one of the reasons is because Windows 11, it's a bit lighter weight. There's also a special version of Windows 10 called Windows 10 LTSC, which is essentially like uh, a Windows version that's designed to be run on like, uh, like in medical institutions where they don't upgrade their PCs that often. So that might be perfect for you. They also have less bloatware in general. So we will be probably doing a video in the future on Windows 10 LTSC, but for now, just know that it's a really great OS that you can try as an option. Another thing is Linux, right? Linux, you may not like Linux at all, but trust me, Linux is much lighter weight compared to Windows in general, but you do lose a lot of the things when it comes to game compatibility and programs. But in conclusion, guys, I think computers, as time goes on, you will need to upgrade your computers less and less. If you notice how chips like from Intel and AMD, sure, they are getting better CPUs, right? But it's nothing compared to what we had like back in like 2010s and things like that, where if a new CPU came out, it was like, wow, there's so much performance that I'm gaining from upgrading my CPU or GPU. That is no longer really the case. And there's really just small incremental improvements happening nowadays. So I think if you buy a PC like today, uh, you probably won't need to upgrade for five years, 10 years, who knows, right? Uh, a lot of computers, obviously all new computers pretty much run uh, SSD. So a lot of the things are already running really well. And uh, we are running Minecraft guys, but uh, we're getting six FPS. That is horrible. Speaking of like internet getting bloated, look at Minecraft. We can barely run Minecraft. We need to reduce the chunks, guys. Oh, nice, we're getting 30 now. Oh, this is way better. And yeah, it's, it's freezing up. But you know what else is not coming fast? Windows 11 improvements, seriously. There's so many things still wrong with Windows 11. And go check out this video right here uh, where we talk about uh, 11 things wrong with Windows 11. Seriously, Microsoft, fix these things. They're so annoying. Go watch that video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.